Hello. Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Um, today, this will be kind of a long one, so I'll put some timestamps in the description so you can jump ahead to what you're interested in. But want to show you how to create custom Google Maps for your Squarespace site in a couple different ways. So I'll do this one at the end. You can create it yourself with Google Maps for free. I don't love this process. I find it very like not user friendly. So, um, and then like not a great result at the end. So let me jump to the things that I do like. So a couple of my favorite widgets, they're from the same place, but first there, uh, this is all detailed in the post. First is the actual Google maps, like custom Google map widget. So as you can see, once you get in here, you can switch between, it doesn't really matter what template you choose. You can make all these adjustments yourself once you get in here, but you can kind of start with what makes most sense. So if you wanted to show like, you know, different uh, icons like food and travel and transportation, whatever, if you wanted more of this look where it's just like, hey, here's all the locations with like the pop out, single location, et cetera. So I'll start with multiple locations. I'm going to go through this just as quickly as I can because um, you guys can explore on your own, of course, but wanted to show you kind of the main things. Um, when you click into locations, you can add, uh, I would say as many as you need. I haven't like explored if you can add like 500, I don't know, but you can definitely add tons of locations here, coming here. Um, you know, edit the name, you can change the icon. I'll show you where the icon color stuff is, add descriptions, etc. Lots of good stuff in here. Um, you can do categories. Uh, I haven't really explored this option personally, but I think you can kind of, kind of like what I just showed you, you could maybe just categorize by, uh, maybe one has like a restaurant icon and one has a bar icon and one has a a transportation icon, things like that. So you categorize that way. And then here are the icons. If you want to keep it default, like go for it. Um, you can at least come in here and change the color if you want. Oh my God, that outline is outrageous. Um, we'll see if we can change the outline somewhere. I'm not even sure if we can. So I would say if you want to do um, something more custom, just like create a, an icon, add an icon. So you can... Um, Upload it here from your computer. I assume it takes like PNGs, probably SVGs. You can change the size. So really cool. You can add custom icons. You're not like stuck with the with the traditional pin. Um, okay. The map itself, you can change the view like you do when you're in Google Maps. So um, between these, I roadmap's probably what you're going to do, just depending maybe if you're like doing a hiking map or something, maybe it'd be different. Um, localization, if you, you know, miles or kilometers. You can, this is really cool. Um, again, I won't go into like crazy detail. I just want to show you the what you can do. This uh, allows you to kind of center it where you want it centered, what the like set zoom is, all of that. So that's really cool to explore. Um, you can like take away some controls if you want, if you didn't want them to have any of these options. Um, clusters, this I haven't really explored too much, but it seems like um, unite certain locations and clusters. Honestly, I have not really looked into this too much. Uh, sounds like a cool feature. I don't know a ton about it. Um, you can have the directions button. You can turn that on or off. So that's kind of cool. If you wanted people to have that ability, they can, if it's, you think it's distracting for some reason. Um, oh, you can also open a new tab, which is really cool. Um, just like some scrolling and dragging options there and interactions. Layers, so you could add or take away things like you could show um, options for the street view, you could show options for, you know, the transit view, all of that. So you can add layers on there as needed, and then you can set the width and height and all of that here as well. I tend to kind of start with what it's suggesting and adjust from there once I start like embedding it in the site. Um, locations panel is here, so you can turn that on or off. Um, you can do some stuff in here. You can allow the search bar or not the list as well and kind of choose what you want to show in the list. If you didn't want it to show like the address or whatever image, say they don't have images, you can take some of that stuff away. Um, appearance, you can come in here, set like a theme color. You know me, my like turquoise, I'm always, this is not my color, but I'm always leaning toward that. Um, yeah, so come in here and you can really get more nitty gritty here with the color schemes. So you could set something else, like you could go to the silver, which I really like, a little more minimalistic. Um, I love a dark mode. You can also do custom and get much more into that. Um, I won't go through all of this because, I mean, there's like a ton of options. So if you really want to fully customize this colors of this map, you absolutely can, which is pretty cool. Um, 
making sure I click through it all. You can add custom TSS if you're familiar with how to do that. Um, but that's the rundown of how to do the Google Maps. Google Maps. Um, okay, flipping over to the store locator, this one's a lot more simple. So if you're just looking for something like this is so clean. Uh, if you're just want to show people where your stores are, like this is maybe the way to go. So they just have the one kind of a template here because it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can add your locations manually. You can also import from a CSV file. So like download your Excel file, your Google Sheets. Um, if you have those, upload them. That's super cool. Um, directories, so you can change like what the title is up here. Um, do you want to show number of locations? Uh, you know, if you want to say, okay, I only want to show... If we have 100 locations, how many do you want to show per page? Um, you can change the card style here, so that's cool. You can also come in to customize and customize a little bit more, um, get into those details. Style, so you'll see this one's just a lot more simplified. So I actually really like this one. Um, the other one, it, you, it's cool because you can do all those custom icons and everything, but if you're really just wanting to show locations, this one's so much simpler and I really like it. So similarly, you can come in here and change colors. You can change um, the map style, light, dark, etc. cetera. Um, more colors come in here and uh, play with those. You can change the font, heading sizes, all of that. You can also add custom CSS if you're familiar with that. Um, lastly, just some like time formatting and stuff, just basic stuff. You can also similarly to the last one, play around with how the map centers, how it zooms. Um, you can, the marker icon is here. So if you want to change this marker icon, you can change that. Um, I, I believe with this one, they're all going to be the same. So it, if you wanted like a variation, the other one would be your option. But for this one, you can just change that marker icon if you wanted. Um, okay. You can change the language. Super cool. Okay, last option, which I find to be much more tedious, is this is all, all these links are in the post and in the description. You can come in here and go to Google Maps itself, click get started. You wanna make sure you're logged into, like I'm logged into my AGM experience uh, Gmail. You need to be logged into whichever Gmail or Google workspace that you want this associated with. Click create new map, create. Okay, once you're in here, I got in here the first time and I was like, okay, now what? So, okay, I live in Atlanta. I'll just like put some stuff in here. Like we have Ponce City Market. I'll put some stuff in here that everyone's heard of in Atlanta, just as easy things at top of mind. So type in whatever location you want, whether it's the address, the name of it, it'll pop it into view. Make sure it's in the right spot. Then you want to click add to map. Okay, from here, you can customize a few things. You can customize the color of the pin. You can also change the icons here. So if I want to be like, okay, this is where you eat. There are more icon options. There's actually a ton, so that's pretty cool. So choose a custom icon if you want. And then, so you have the options for color. You can come in here and edit the name. So if you didn't want, like the name Google assigned to it, you can change that. You can add a description. Um, you can upload a photo if you want, which is pretty cool. Um, add directions. You can delete it if you don't want this one. So that's kind of all of your settings for this, um, except for, okay, over here in this panel. So you can title your map here. You can add a description to your map here. Um, the layers I have not really personally used, but I think it would be cool if you want to do different, just keep it organized. Think of like layers in Photoshop or in design or anything like that. Um, if you wanted like all your food on one layer or something like that. So you can play around with those layers, rename them, add new ones as needed here. Um, your base map, all this is, is what the base map looks like. So do you want it to be like more minimalistic? Do you want your normal Google map? Um, that's all there. But again, it's like, there's not a ton that you can customize within the map, the base map itself. And then lastly, once this one is ready, you just go to this, these three dots here, go to embed on my site. Okay, well, you have to make it public. Oh gosh, last time I did this, I was like, okay, cool. How do I make this public? Let me remember that for you guys. One second. Okay. Now you see why this is like not user friendly. So let's do, okay. I went to the share, click test map. Anyone with link. Okay. Share. Okay. I don't need to share with anybody. Let's see if it'll let me do it now. Embed on my site. Okay, yeah. So now it'll give you the um, iframe. Yeah, you probably know iframes, tip, they're just not my favorite. So I won't love the way this displays. I'm going to get rid of my profile picture so you can toggle that off. Click OK. And then I'll jump over to my sandbox. So 
With the elf site ones, I didn't go through the whole process, but they're going to work similarly. So you'll get to the end of the process. All you'll get is an embed code and you can pop it in, but I'll show you this one. So add a block. Um, you can add a code or embed block. I've not really found a, um, you know, like a real difference in the two. I've always been curious about that, but I've used both and have not found, yeah, anything specific. Okay. So as you see, like I've dropped in the iframe for this Google map and it's, just this little square over here. It's not horrible. Like you can still use it. I just don't love how it has the title up here and has like the create your own. And like, I don't want all these like Google, uh, you know, gadgets. Like I just want it to display the map in a beautiful way. Um, another thing is you can come in here, of course, and change like the height and width. So come to the end of the piece of the code and you can change, um, the height and width and get it to like, that's way too wide, but play around with it and get it to fit your space as needed. So it is a great option. It's free. Um, I just don't love the way that it displays and iframes can be a little finicky, especially on mobile. Um, but those are all the options for putting a custom app on your site and hope you enjoy.